All right, my uh, Ender 3, this is it right here. Let's take a quick look at it. Uh, this is all that's required, as you can see right here. Um, just showing what is possible with a standard, basic, out of the box, unmodified, unmolested Ender 3 printer will produce. This is your basic hot end right here. You see nothing about it that's been added. No so-called upgrades. No electronic gizmo here because when I print in this fashion, as you see here, this is all that's required. I know it's amazing. Piece of paper, a two inch by six inch strip of paper. That's the tramming tool. Once it has been trammed on a known to be flat print surface, then an electronic gizmo has nothing to compensate for. It's virtually useless. Knowing that, I figured, why bother? I'll tram it as I always have and has always worked. Continue to use the zero stop switch right here. It's a mechanical switch, just like the switch back there. All right, just like the switch right there. X, Y, Z is all that's needed. This is it. Also, these springs right there, look at that. They're not chunks of rubber. They're not thicker, heavier yellow springs. These are the springs that came with the printer. They've been installed properly as they were designed to work. They've worked for this printer for many, many prints and many, many years. All my printers are exactly assembled just like this. So printing on one printer is as if I'm printing on all of them. So if I have a multi-part print, I break it up into several parts like a kit print each part on a different printer at the same time will save me printing time in a day. It's just physics. The filament still has to be pushed out, but now it's happening on four individual printers. Also, I never heat the bed. Never needed to, never will, because the adhesion is as you see it right here just as you see it no messy glue sticks you know Elmer's glue sticks no raft no brim there's plenty of uh, uh, material touching the bill plate enough to hold it down I'm tapping on the foot right there nothing's happening tapping on the foot nothing's happening it stays where it stays through the entire print no warping no uh, release of the print because this has always worked and for me why change what has always worked just because someone says so not hardly oh look at that that's the plastic extruder right there right you see it right there the plastic the plastic extruder not an aftermarket so-called upgraded metal one right there that's the original plastic extruder body it's the same on all my printers it's been over five years I print every day if that lever breaks don't worry about it replace it it's three bucks five minutes you're back to printing no e-step changes no calibrations no worrying about it grinding up filament or Every time it starts, you worry about it crapping out on you. Don't worry about it. Keep the body, change the arm. Three bucks, it's in a package, never been installed on a printer in its entire life, never been under stress. There it is. I mean, I'm just showing what's proof in my world. Okay? All right. I'm going to start printing as soon as I get this off the bed or I'm going to grab another mirror already set up for another print and I'm going to do one that's probably going to be twice this size.
because I can, because it can. All right, happy printing.